Hi family and friends. This is Shannon and um, today I'm going to do something a little different with cooking. Um, I had some friends who gave us two of their blue apron meals and those are meals that you can order online and they get delivered to your house and then um, it's like the grocery part of it gets delivered to your house and then you're, it's up to you to make it. So we have done HelloFresh. Um, we had that gifted to us for about a year, um, a couple meals a month, and we really enjoyed that. That was really good. I've never done the Blue Apron meals before, um, but we I'm gonna do two meals that were gifted to us. The first one is the Romesco Shrimp and Couscous Skillet. And one is the Greek Faro Salad. And I'm doing both of them at the same time because they're only meant for two people and I have three adults in the house. So, um, so I'm gonna make both of them and we're just gonna share it for dinner. They're both shrimp meals. Um, one came with shrimp and one came without. So I went and bought um, an extra bag of shrimp so they can both have shrimp in them. So I'm just, I've just been getting organized and getting one of the meals ready. Um, I needed to, it called for a can of chickpeas so I had to drain those and rinse them and get them nice and dry because I'm gonna roast them for a few minutes in the oven. Let me show you those. So I have them on a baking sheet and they're nice and dry. I'm gonna roast those. And I'm getting ready to cook some farro. I think that's how you say it. Um, this is really delicious if you've never tried farro. It's a grain. Um, and what you do is you just cook it until it's tender and then you rinse off um, you pour off the water from it. So it's kind of like, I don't know, I guess it's not like cooking an oatmeal or a rice, but anyways, it's really delicious. So I'm getting ready to put this farro into a pot of um, salt water. And this is one cup of semi-pearled farro is how much this is. So I'm going to take it over to the stove, I'm going to put it in some boiling water, and it says I need to let it cook for, let's see, fill the pot three-fourths of the way up with salted water, cover and heat to boiling on high, once boiling, add the farro and cook, uncovered 18 to 20 minutes or until tender. So that's what I'm going to do. So um, I'm going to pause this and then I'll bring you back for the next step. All right, I have my farro on to boiling. Um, I put my chickpeas in a 450 degree oven. Um, I'm gonna roast those for five minutes, and then I have to take them out, drizzle olive oil and salt and pepper on them, um, and then return them to the oven for about 21 minutes for them to roast. So, um, so I'm gonna be doing that. And then while that's cooking, all that's cooking, I have a zucchini, um, I have a red pepper, and like big, huge grape tomatoes. I have, I think, four ounces of grape tomatoes, um, and some parsley and garlic. So I'm going to get those things chopped up and let me get my knife out. It says that I should cut the, kit, the zucchini into half inch thick rounds because I think those are going to get um, browned in the skillet. So let me get those going. Get those cut up. I really like zucchini in dishes like rice and pasta, stuff like that. So I think this is gonna be really good. I gotta keep my eye on the farro that it doesn't overboil. If 
farro is one of those really super good for you grains that are very old. Um, and you should find some recipes for, for farro and make them uh, because it's really delicious. I dropped something. Uh, I have over here, I have some uncooked shrimp. This is 16 ounces of uncooked shrimp um, that I have been thawing under cold water because we're gonna use that in the meal. And I'll show you what it came with. The meal came with some um, shrimp for one of them. So this is already thawed and it's been in the refrigerator. This is peeled, deveined, tail on shrimp. So we'll have to eat those and take the tails off of them. So this is another part of the meal. I'm gonna give my pharaoh a, a stir. Okay, so I have the zucchini cut up and ready. And now I have to roughly chop the parsley. Let me dry that off. I washed all of this. So we'll wash the parsley. I'm usually not a huge fan of fresh parsley, so hopefully this will be delicious and I won't have to pick it out of my dish. All right, so let me put that in a little dish. It smells good. All right, I'm going to go and check on my chickpeas. Okay, so I drizzled my chickpeas with olive oil and salt and pepper. Um, they started popping like popcorn when I took them out of the oven, which is really funny. So, and then that's going to cook for about 20 minutes in the oven. So I got to stir those halfway through. Oh, it says right here that they may pop when they're roasted. I never knew that before. Um, and then we'll take those out of the oven. So I'm going to continue cutting up the um, produce. So it says to half the tomatoes. I generally do not make shrimp dishes. Um, it's just something that I don't do. We love shrimp, but I don't cook with shrimp, so this is a real treat for us to receive these meals and be able to um, make a shrimp meal at home. So this is, oh, this is exciting. Mm -hmm. I'm having a little spill here. And now I gotta cut up the pepper. And this just gets cut into just lengthwise. So cut in like this. Can you see? Oh, you can see what I'm doing. Have any of you ever tried the um, home delivery meals before uh, that you make yourself? I know they can be a little pricey, but once in a while, just knowing from being gifted, of course I've never purchased them myself, but being gifted with them, they were so nice. And the cool thing is, they come with these beautiful recipe cards, so you can keep them and go buy your own groceries and remake them. I saved all of the ones that we got gifted to us because we pretty much enjoyed every single one of them. So I'm gonna do that with these Blue Apron ones as well. That way we can remake them. 
if we want to. So I'm going to get a bowl for these peppers. All right. And then we have to um, zest the garlic. Let's see here. These, these have lots of directions. Combined the tomatoes and the peppers in a medium bowl. Add the vinegar, which it came with sherry vinegar. Um, half the garlic paste and drizzle with olive oil, season with salt and pepper, stir to combine, set aside to marinate um, for at least 10 minutes. And then we move on to the, the zucchini. So, um, so I guess I gotta put these in a different bowl. So we'll get a bigger size bowl. So the tomatoes and the peppers And what did I do with the garlic? Here it is. And you know what? I don't feel like zesting this, so I'm just going to get my garlic press out, and I'm going to do that. I just, I don't have the patience for zesting a tiny clove of garlic. So I'm just going to do that. Pull the extra out. It smells really good. And then I'm going to pour the vinegar in here. I can hear the chickpeas popping. I hope that's okay. And then stir this up. Boy, this smells really good. And then it says to just let it marinate. So I'm just going to set this aside. I'm going to go check my chickpeas because it sounds like popcorn is cooking in the oven. And then I'll bring you back. Okay, so I did some prep work for the Romesco shrimp and couscous skillet. I quartered... Um, four ounces of grape tomatoes. I put salt and pepper in those. I cut up two scallions, nice and thin, and I quartered a lemon and took all the seeds out of it. Um, and then the next thing is going to be, uh, let's see, to just cook it in the skillet. So I'm not gonna start that until I start cooking the other meal in the skillet too. So um, my, Farro is almost done cooking and my chickpeas have about six more minutes um, so I'm gonna go check on those and then I'll bring you guys back and we'll probably be over on the oven um, on the stovetop um, with our skillets to do the shrimp and all of that other stuff okay okay I took the chickpeas out early um, probably about five minutes early because they were starting to burn so I'm going to set these off to the side. All right, I'm supposed to pat dry the shrimp, remove the tails if I want, but you know what? I'm going to let people do that when they eat it. I don't feel like doing that. I'm supposed to salt and pepper them. Just move them around in here and give them a good pat. I suppose I should do that to the other ones for the other dish as well. That one doesn't call for shrimp. You can use shrimp. So I'm going to just salt and pepper the shrimp. So I have that ready. And then let me get something to put the other shrimp on. So here's the other shrimp uncooked. So I'm going to pat that down. Like I said, I don't, maybe a couple times have I cooked with actual shrimp. Um, usually we get like peel and eat shrimp. Um, 
So this will be very different. I think I'm going to salt and pepper these as well. And now, so here they are. So now I'm going to go and check on the farro. I'm going to taste it and see if it's tender enough. Okay, so the farro is done. It's like nice and chewy in my mouth. So I'm going to drain the water off it was cooking in. Got some left in the pan. So I'm just going to let that sit there and keep draining. So I just wanted to show you what, what you do. It's super easy. All right, so now I'm over at the stovetop and we're gonna complete the meals now. We have everything prepared. So now I have to drizzle a little bit of olive oil into um, a pan and I'm gonna brown the zucchini. So I'll show you that. And this pan is gonna be over medium high heat. And I'm going to start putting those zucchinis in here. We're going to get those sauteed up. Just want to get them brown on each side. Now either of these dishes you could make without shrimp. You could just make them um, with the vegetables and the other ingredients so you don't have to use shrimp so we're just going to get those to cooking uh, let's see what it says here add the zucchini rounds season with salt and pepper so we'll put some salt and pepper on them says to cook for three to four minutes per side or until browned and softened. So I'm going to get my tongs because that will be easy to flip them. Uh, let's see here. So I think I'm just going to work on that right now um, in this pan over here. Let's see. I need to start cooking the shrimp. So I'm going to turn on the skillet to get hot. And then I'm going to put a drizzle of olive oil in here. And then I'm going to add the, se the seasoned shrimp and cook those until they're like cake. We're going to put a little bit of ham in there. And I'm going to add the shrimp. I think these dishes are going to be delicious. It just seems like a lot of work because, uh, because I'm making them all at once. Both of them all at once. If I was just doing one of them at a time, it would be very easy. Ooh, I can smell the zucchini. It smells delicious. There's a lot of shrimp in here. A lot more than I thought. All right. I'm going to wash my hands. And I'm going to check on these. 
Oh yeah. It's starting to brown. I think the zucchini smells so good when it's cooking. I like it on the grill too. Put it into longer strips and cook it on the grill. for a minute and then we'll come back. All right, I'm going to start taking up some of these zucchinis because they're getting pretty dark. <coughs> Excuse me. We don't want them to taste burnt. shrimp is starting to turn pink, which is what we want. So as soon as these zucchini get done, we'll start cooking the shrimp for this dish. I'm going to get another flipper. Start turning these over too. These look so good. Look how easy it is to make shrimp. You just buy it fresh or frozen, you thaw it out, put it in some olive oil, salt and pepper. So good. Got too many things going on at once. Let me take these up. I think these are all done. The cool thing about this is you could eat this stuff raw, so it's okay that it's all cooked at different stages. over. It smells so good. Take that off the heat for a minute. Alright, I'm going to take the shrimp up. It looks done so that I can mix together the rest of the ingredients. It smells so good. And then I'll get those started. Alright, I added the next pound of shrimp into the pan to cook those. Those will, might take a little bit longer simply because they were frozen first. So we're going to let those simmer in there and then um, I'm going to get this pan ready for the next part of the uh, dish. Alright, so I have a little one and a half um, little block of feta cheese. I have my farro in here, my drained farro, and then that little tomato and um, pepper with the garlic and a little bit of olive oil and the sherry vinegar. And I'm just going to crumble this feta cheese up in here. That shrimp is almost done cooking. I see one piece that's struggling. Let me go wash my hands. Piece of shrimp over into the middle. What I can do is um, I can list ingredients of this. Um, 
down in the description box because I know it's been kind of complicated. So, um, so let's see, what else do we got to do here? So we put the cooked farro, the cheese, the mar marinated tomatoes and peppers, and now we're going to do a drizzle of olive oil. And we're going to season it with some salt and pepper. Oh, one jumped out. So I'm going to turn the heat off on that. And then this, I'm going to turn the heat on because we got to get that heated up. Stir to combine. This looks really delicious. How can you go wrong? Got that stirred up. Uh, let's see. So you serve it with the, the zucchini. I think I'm just going to mix everything in together. So I'm going to put the zucchini, the chickpeas, and then it came with this little um, container of zatziki sauce. I think that's how you say it. I'm not real sure. So these shrimp are done, so we'll be able to start that. Let me go get the chickpeas. We'll put the chickpeas in. That's going to add a nice crunch. And if you didn't want to do the shrimp, the chickpeas could be your protein. really good. And then we'll add the zucchini. The shrimp. We'll get that stirred up. Look how yummy this looks. I probably should have got a bigger pot, but I already got enough, enough dirty dishes. So this one I'm just going to cover while I'm making the other one, which shouldn't take too long. And then um, I'm going to wait on this till right before we eat it. So I'm going to turn the heat down on this to really low. the scallions, tomatoes, spinach. Here's the tomatoes, scallions, I have three ounces of spinach. And then 
then I'm supposed to stir this for just a couple of minutes. This looks really delicious too. And then what we're going to do is to finish this up, we're going to add couscous, currants, and capers, um, and a cup of water. And that'll just cook to absorb the water, and then we'll top it off, and this will be done as well. So, I know that it seemed complicated, but if I can do it, you certainly can do it. Look at that. Mm. We're going to be eating well tonight. Doesn't that look delicious? So that'll cook for a few more minutes. I'm going to get the couscous, the currants, and the capers. These are the capers. Give it a nice saltiness. And these are the dried currants, sweet and salty. Stir that up in there. I'm glad I decided to make both of these at the same time because it'll kind of be like it'll kind of be like we're at a I don't know, like a salad bar type deal. All right, I'm gonna lower the camera. Now I'm gonna add the yellow couscous in here. I pour this water in. I'm going to check my recipe just to make sure. So I'm going to stir this up. And then I add a cup of water. Boy, that looks so delicious. Season it with salt and pepper. It really does. These these meals really do give you step by step directions, which is so nice. And it's a nice gift to receive. Trust me, we know. So I'm going to toss this in. I probably should have had a smaller skillet, but it's okay. So we put the heat on high because we want it to boil. And once it's boiling, we're going to turn off the heat and tightly cover it. And I'll probably just put my, uh, my baking sheet on top of it or maybe get some tin foil. So this looks really good. I think I'm going to do some tin foil. So I will get that ready and then we'll bring you back. Okay, one thing I forgot to do and I realized I'd done something wrong. It came with a Romesco sauce. So I was supposed to add that when I put in the couscous and all of that. So I did that. And now I need to make a labneh sauce l-a-b-n-e-h so it's the juice of two lemon wedges so i'm going to squeeze those in two lemon wedges and then this is the lebna sauce It 
kind of smells like a mix between sour cream and like cheesecake, oddly enough. Um, let's see, it has, it says it's pasteurized milk. So I'm not really sure what that is. We could look that up and see. Season with salt. And then you just drizzle this over the dish along with squeezing more lemon juice on it. So that'll be something people can add to their own. So let's see what it tastes like. It's delicious. It tastes kind of sour creamish with lemons in it. So, okay, so as soon as, sorry about that. As soon as the timer goes off, um, I will check the couscous dish and we will eat. I will serve it up and we will eat and then I will taste it and we'll see how it is. So I'm really excited about it. So I'll bring you back for that. All right, so I'm gonna show you the finished product. So this one is the Greek Pharaoh salad. And you top it with a tzatziki, is that how you say it? The cucumber, um, dressing. This is the Romesco shrimp and couscous skillet. Having trouble showing you that one. And then you top it with this um, yummy yogurty dressing with a squirt of lemon. So I'm going to call um, the guys down to eat and I will make a plate and then I'll show you what it's like. Okay, so let me show you the dishes. Here they are. This is the Greek pharaoh salad, and it has the uh, tzatziki dressing on it. This is the romesco shrimp and couscous skillet. This also has shrimp, but this is the couscous skillet. And I'm supposed to squirt lemon on that one. So let me get my lemon ready here. So I squirted some lemon on there. And now we get to taste them. So I'll do the Greek Pharaoh first. Try to get a little piece of everything on there. Let's see. Well, it's kind of hard, but here we go. I forgot about the tails on the shrimp. So I'll have to remind my guys about that. But this farro salad is delicious. So now I'm going to try the couscous. Oh, I keep getting little bits of tail. Maybe I should have took them off first. That's okay. All right. So... Now for this, remember it has spinach in it, tomatoes, um, capers, scallions, lemon, currants, all kinds of good stuff in there. Oh my gosh. This one is my favorite. It is so tasty. So I would highly recommend these. If you would like more details about these, you can let me know in the comments. But um, I'll let you know what I put in them, and then you can see as I watch the video how much and all that sort of thing. So, um, <laughs> more shrimp tail. That's funny. Okay, so I will um, talk to you soon. But here are two wonderful shrimp dishes or you don't have to add shrimp because they still have protein in them. Um, 
But I hope that you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time.